Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It occurred while Andy examined Ariana Middix's sweetheart Daniel Wise's little contribution in recording. Ariana, 38, noticed that her playmate would have rather not been a piece of the show, regardless of making a concise appearance through FaceTime in a new episode. She likewise said that Daniel, 41, wasn't getting compensated to film, which made him impartial in partaking. In any case, Andy countered her articulation and called attention to that her co-star, Brock, 34, wasn't bringing in any cash during his initial days on the show. Brock didn't get compensated to start with, and he was near, Andy said, guiding his focus towards Sheena Shea's significant other. The New Zealand conceived star didn't deny the organization stiffing him on a check and gestured in understanding. Brock joined the DPR cast during season nine after his commitment to Sheena. The couple secured the bunch in August 2023 with their now three-year-old little girl, Summer Moon, as the Bloom Young Lady. Bravo cameras were available for the pre-marriage ceremony and it later broadcasted on the show. Fans were stunned by the news that Brock wasn't making a dime to show up on VPR first and foremost and offered their viewpoints via virtual entertainment. Conceding that Brock sat his developed ass on that show not getting compensated is really humiliating. Where could the disgrace be? From the two of them, one watcher composed on X, previously Twitter. Indeed, even the Jersey housewives have sufficient business insight to get their man paid. Another person remarked, referencing the genuine housewives of New Jersey, which a few of the cast's soulmates are a piece of. He shot that multitude of scenes his most memorable season and didn't get compensated. Then he shot less his second season big he embarrassed himself. So is this his most memorable season getting paid? A third fan pondered. In the interim, others shielded Brock and recognized him for making a brilliant vocation move. I truly like him. Great for him for making a move to appear and possibly have entryways open for him in the entertainment biz. A fan commended. Eggett was a bet to help Sheena's storyline and get him on the show. He's a cast part presently, so I'd say it was worth the effort, said another. How could that be humiliating? That is the way things are for everybody on the off chance that you are a critical other or a companion of until you are viewed as long haul and afterward, potentially turning into a cast part. Brock isn't the first, nor will be the last. That is the means by which unscripted television works, a third commented. In spring, previous single man candidate, Scratch Vial, 43, Shiana and Brock of rehearsing scenes to get more broadcast appointment. I'm almost certain Brock and Shiana practice their scenes Scratch said on his digital recording, the vile documents. I don't for even a moment express that with analysis. I think they sort of need to be essential for the storyline, so they force storylines. EPR is right now taking a break from shooting season 12, as evaluations have been rough for the long-running series. During a restrictive meeting with the U.S. Sun recently, EPR leader Lisa Vanderpump, 63, guaranteed fans that the show will be back given the hazardous show it conveyed in late seasons. It has as of late been uncovered that Brock Davies didn't get compensated for being on Vanderpump Rules. This became known when Ariana Medics uncovered that Daniel Y was not getting compensated. Fans are stunned that Brock would be on the show so much when there is no cash included. Some don't endorse his manner of thinking about it continuing to peruse to figure out more about this. Brock Davies didn't get compensated. It was uncovered in the gathering episode that Brock Davies didn't get compensated for his most memorable time of Vanderpump Rules. This was uncovered when Ariana Medic said her beau Daniel Y was not getting compensated and for that reason he didn't have a lot of interest in being on the show. 
Andy Cohen stepped in to say, Brock didn't get compensated initially and he was near. Brock didn't differ and gave the thumbs up. This was stunning so that fans might be able to hear. Some think it was humiliating. Fans don't endorse. Fans didn't endorse Brock Davies being on the show without being paid. Conceding that Brock sat his developed ass on that show not getting compensated is genuinely humiliating. Where could the disgrace be? From the two of them. Indeed, even the Jersey housewives have sufficient business discernment to get their man paid. He shot that large number of scenes his most memorable season and didn't get compensated. Then at that point, he shot less his second season big he embarrassed himself. So is this his most memorable season getting paid? A few fans proceeded to help his choice. Some figure he didn't get compensated on the grounds that creation expected to check whether he planned to stay close by for the show or not. Nonetheless, Sheena and Brock currently share a girl together. Brock gets compensated now for being on the show. Albeit, the ebb and flow season being shot got required to be postponed, which without a doubt implies so did their checks. Do you suppose it was humiliating for Brock? It appears to be that fans think it was humiliating for Brock to do the show with no compensation. Nonetheless, a couple of think it was the most ideal way for him to get on the show. Daniel didn't want to take part in the show much because of not getting compensated. Ariana comprehended that totally and appeared to mind less on the off chance that he was on the show or not. What is your take on everything? Sound off in the remarks beneath. After the get-together's decision, Vanderpump Rules Season 11 has authoritatively reached a conclusion. In any case, that doesn't mean the show is over presently. Online circles are as yet talking about what went down between Lala Kent and Ariana Medix. One of the get-together's principal draws was the bother that the cast would watch the finals completion together. Be that as it may, the main individual who didn't actually have the foggiest idea what went down was Ariana since she left the cameras at her back, with the remainder of the cast behind her also. Anyway, how did Ariana answer all that Lala needed to say at the final? In front of the get-together, Bravo tweeted a sneak look, highlighting a discussion among Lala and Ariana. I was angry that evening. Lala started, referring to her final bluster. Outbridged. Furthermore, please accept my apologies assuming I hurt you however I stand by what I said. Yikes. Please accept my apologies assuming I hurt you. That isn't an expression of remorse. Furthermore, I likely didn't say it the most expressively however. I was crying consistently. Lala depicted her sentiments in more noteworthy profundity. It was troublesome in light of the fact that I comprehended where Ariana was coming from. In any case, I was like, for what reason does she get to direct the way in which this goes down when I've never had the opportunity to direct? The two players were crying. When requested her reaction, Ariana started, I don't believe I'm Bayonke. I don't believe I'm God. She kept saying that she wailed consistently as well yet not before any other individual. I do it all alone. Furthermore, seemingly on the off chance that you want to talk in show terms, me leaving that discussion was much more fascinating than me staying there and having it. Was that not a superior consummation of your season? To give you one more prepare for another check? Sheesh, difficult to contend with that one. Also, to discuss transcription, it sort of appears as though Ariana's been the only one contradicting some common norms this season. Anyway, who's truly directing what? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.